Okay, experimental fusion reactor. I'm trained and ready for this kind of stuff. I'm glad that we're letting the AI that maybe can't even think for itself and uh, had all of its uh, memories lost. All of its uh, records lost, or 93% of them-ish work on this. Okay, uh, adjust magnet strike with W and S. Uh, okay. Enable containment? Hey, something's happening. Anything clickable around here besides these obvious big buttons? Redirect power is offline. Eject plasma, no plasma. Oh. 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 Okay. How do I adjust magnet strength to W and S? Select. Ah. I think I'm. I think I want it to be inside the circle, or probably matching the circle, actually. No. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fail. I'm about to. Yep. Okay, I kind of got it. I kind of started to get it. Guys, again. Boop, boop. Okay, so you reduce the magnet when it's pulling too far. Increase it when it's not pulling far enough. Nope, still not there. Oop. How do I... How do I win? <laughs> How do I win? No! Magnet strength peak. Okay, let's disconnect and see if I can find information about this in the room. So maybe there's a document that'll explain this somehow. That looks promising. Experiment order 244, alternative power in low light positions. EASA and USES would like to continue the exploration of alternative station power with when solar panels are not reliable or in low light environments. It is important that the sample data of each test is run, of each test run is regularly collected. At no point should the EFR be switched to station mode without an executive order and should remain on the test circuits. Nominal range, experimental range. I wish I could see it better. Can I zoom in more? Uh, maybe that information will now show up in the log when I go back to the main one. I actually start doing mouse controls again, and I'm like, I regret this. Days before the dark. Neil Horner. Is this like a sci-fi apocalyptic thing where like the books get, like the sun's gonna turn off? Excellence from the troubled mind of Horner. Days of the week re uh, news. You usually can't read text that small on something in a game. The textures usually aren't that high definition. But I got right up in there. Isn't that exciting? Hello? Oh. 
send email to Alyssa. Just a reminder. They use email up here? I don't know why that's a surprise to me. Maybe it's because the space is just so small. That digital communication almost feels odd. Let's see if that thing gave me numbers I can use. Because I can't see it that well. The text was super small. Experimental fusion reactor. Control. Just try and see if there's a way to view documents I've seen before. Help me figure this out. They seem not in a big hurry to help me out here. Okay. Strength peak. I'm curious about the plus 100, minus 100 peak things being said here and there. Do I want everything, do I want everything to max out? Magnet strength peak. I wish I could more confidently say what I'm trying to do. Ah. Eh, hey, you keep quitting on me. Alright, one more time, right? We'll figure it out. Hey. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, it literally says safe. I'm all I couldn't. I couldn't tell that because I was staring at the circles. I was trying to see the ring and where it was going, but it actually it actually tells you when you hit the threshold of where it wants to be exactly. That sh that makes this easy. Go. Yeah, and it Thanks, Sam. The power's coming back on now. 
even like a lobotomized AI, I don't think would have be as as clueless as I am right now. <laughs> like they they they'd be noticing the safe notification. You should be like Sam. What's going on? Why are you a dumb human? Wait, is the hexagon real now? The one from the logo? Okay, I can see why there's massive, like, seizure warnings everywhere. Uh, replay. Am I rewinding my own footage? Okay. Um... Three... W? Yeah? <laughs> Why? Adam Play Cubes Fast Forward Saturn? Adam Cubes Fast Forward Saturn. Ricochet cubes. Adam Ricochet cubes. Are we learning to communicate like an arrival? Uh. It keeps showing. Th So did she see that? She seemed to be entranced by it. I don't know why or how you were doing this. If you are doing this, but I need you to help me, Sam. I need to know what is going on. I need the crew. Back, but the hatch to Universal is still offline. I need you to find out what the problem is. Sam, give me a systems diagnostic. Okay, uh, East One. Let's go. I feel like when stuff like this starts happening, I would just be in the mode of like assuming, oh yeah, we're just dead. <laughs> the end. This is the end. Definitely feel like no win situations. Module UN1 hull contact points to EAS3 are unresponsive. This sounds bad. 
Okay, so the power is fine, but the hull connection points are misaligned. That we can fix. I can't get them open from here, but you should be able to reclamp the contact points from outside. Looks like you're going on your first spacewalk, Sam. Before you go outside, though, we need to update your Sphere firmware to allow for exterior use. To upgrade, you'll have to scan the barcodes in EAS-11. Once you're fully updated, we'll get you outside. I'm granting you EVA permission now. The internal airlock hatch is now open. Sphere upgrade. So we need to get to EAS-11. Where's the sphere right now? Nine. So we've moved again. We're like right there where we need to go. Emma. Crew. Okay, so that that symbol means that this area is the bunk. This is the EFR. This symbol means captain's module. Camera offline. Register error to crew via station alerts. I would like to. Huh. So which module is this? Ten. Can I scan this? online, but I can't do anything with it. Exterior mobility suit. EMU calibration unit. Calibration log of recent EMU suit activity. EMU suit currently in use by Josh Ramon. Is it though? Josh Ramon or Josh Ramon's remains? Is it is it used by the late Josh Ramon? Alright, so map-wise... Ah. If I turn right, I may make it to 11. Nothing like a lack of up and down to really mess with your orientation of where you think you're going. Can't, can't seem to enter this one. Have I made it? I have. Okay. Trying to scan barcodes. These are airlock controls. Uh, that'll teach me to try to switch the mouse for a second. Ah. The DSLR camera up there on the left? Scan sphere HVC codes. Insert pantry. I don't think those are it.
Emergency evacuation procedures. Lifeboat instructions. Oh. That one has the same note on it. I think the shocking lesson we're learning is that if you l if you set somebody loose on a ship that doesn't know the way around of it around it uh, plot twist they don't know their way around it. This is ES eleven like this is nine. We already have that. Let's see if I can see something better if I just go in here with the cameras that are already here. Gear upgrade required. So th those are the controls I'm trying to use, so I can get out. But where is the sphere upgrade? Zero G payload. Oh, hey. Sphere upgrade procedure to allow for maximum mobility and protection from the vacuum of space. There are a minimum of three sphere upgrades for additional ability is helpful in carrying out the relevant work. Uh, if only we could have started with all of them. <laughs> Prior to extravehicular activity, EVA, scanning the appropriate upgrades with the sphere in EAS 11 will allow new firmware to be applied, enabling these features. Using a terminal or placing a request on SAM, users may combine the script compi compiler with all feature scripts to apply. Once applied, these features remain permanent and require full reboot to remove. Light, speed, and signal. Oh, th that's those are the upgrades right there. Okay. Making some progress here. Here they are. Blip. Sphere upgrade HVCA. An HVC high variation code that provides SAM with sphere upgrade extension 1 RLK bin blah, blah, blah. This must be combined with an appropriate compiler in the SAMOS mainframe. To go here. Horizon European and American Space Agency arm. Universal shared structure ring. Salute Russian Space Agency arm. Shenzhou 12. Chinese Space Agency arm. Hello. I don't have the map data, but there's apparently like entire other areas. This is just the American and European arm. Uh, so this, there might be a lot more space station than we see so far. Let's go to the memory core. Hello. Corrupted data. Combine. Yes, hatch schematic. This is where my information's being stored. There we go. Let's 
so I had to Break find. Cuts you all set up. Okay, get those module clamps fixed, Sam. So I had to find each of the individual fragments that were left out there. There we go. Flash pre erase done. Do, 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 do. Processing. Yeah, it's not much interesting there. Okay, so this is where all my data is. Yep, everything I find, every document is in here. So if I want to review something, it's here. Turn of power and low light positions, yeah. Somewhat useful just to get them all, all the ones I know about. Seen. This was the, the, the audio log we found. So we get rid of the ones that I've seen before, they're not, they're not labeled as unread anymore. Helping me find fragments later, faster, since I, that'll, that'll probably happen again. Back to the map. Let's get our asses into space. Internal hatch. Close. There we go. Press. That is a familiar alarm sound. And then open. The control panel where you can rearrange the clamps is on the outer hull of EAS-3. We could maybe check out a US-12 while we're out here. And just like that, we're in space. You can see how big this thing is now. So there's the central ring, right? Yeah, so we've been navigating just one of these arms. There's the central ring. You can see it around this central chamber right there. If it is a chamber, it might be an engine, I don't know. And you can see what's left, so that... Whoever that is, they're gone. Is there one over here too? Well, there's at least one other entire... section that's still attached. We'll have to see. Alright, we're in space!